Assalamualaikum and afternoon to judges and all the audiences. As for today's presentation of Umran Webmina, I, Nusha Zaatina, would like to present about my research study and the topic is Transferring Malay Landscape Setting Model at Rumah Hutan Terapi Alam. For your information, Rumah Hutan Terapi Alam is a spa village that is located at Batang Kali, Selangor. For the presentation flow, it will be started with research background, issues, literature review, problem statement, aim and objective, methods, findings and lastly the recommendations. First and foremost, let's begin with the first slide, the introduction of Malay landscape. Malay landscape is a part of a Malay culture and it is originated from region of the Malay archipelago. The Malays are well known for their culturally rich heritage and inherited values. Malay landscape is a tangible cultural heritage and been practiced among the Malay in the past. It is closely related with their own custom and belief. However, the issue is the Malay landscape existence is rarely known by today's generation because firstly, the Malay landscape has lost its identity due to a rapid urbanization and current trend development. People today prefer a modern design rather than a traditional landscape design and lastly, the preservation of historic buildings in Malaysia. It is an evident that preservation in Malaysia, preservation in Malaysia tend to focus on the architecture, historic building rather than its surrounding. Therefore, it has contributed to the loss of typical Malay landscape in terms of physical characteristics and cultural values. Next, moving on to the literature review of the Malay landscape. Previously, the Malay was dominantly involved in the agriculture activities for their source of earning and an additional food supply. Examples of the agriculture are rice field, tapioca bush and coconut grove. They rely on the plant the most and practice the concept of tree planting for various functions such as shades, boundary and aesthetical. There are two main elements in the Malay landscape which are hardscape and softscape. They prioritize the function of plant for ethnobotanic purpose while the landscape furniture is an extra element that complement the design of a garden such as uh, like kebuk padi, kola, waka and the covering pattern. There are six functions of plants in the Malay landscape which are utilities, healing and consumption, aesthetical, shades, boundary and foods. And now the Malay garden concept. It is a harmonious interaction between man, culture and environment. It consists of four main house compound composition which are Laman Hadapan, Laman Sisi for right and left and Laman Belaka. Start with Laman Hadapan. It is located at the front area and functioning for an outdoor activity or gathering, also known as Laman Tiba to welcome the guests. Next, Laman Sisi that is located the right and the left or the house. It is long and narrow and connects with Laman Belakang firstly for daily activities. And lastly, Laman Belakang or known as Laman Suri. It is located at the kitchen area and functioning as an edible kitchen garden that dominantly used by the woman. Next, we proceed with the problem statements of the research. The identity of Malay landscape has been slowly disappeared and remained unclear. Alright, this research is aimed at creating Malay landscape identity towards Rumah Hutan Terapi Alam, the spa village. Three objectives are being made in order to achieve the aim. First objective is to identity is to identify Malay traditional landscape element. Second is to characterize the spa village landscape elements. And lastly, to create Malay landscape identity at spa village. Three methods are being used in order to achieve the objective. First is observation using a checklist and photography at the site to achieve objective two. Next, interview method to the target participant using semi-structured interview to achieve objective two and three. Lastly, document analysis further to further analyze information through a secondary data and this method is to achieve objective one. Moving on to the important part of this research which is the findings. Begin with the site plan of the spa village, the site covers only at the spa area and the surrounding landscape. The concept of the landscape is a combination between Malay and Javanese that is being modernized. The landscape is divided into four areas which are front, side, transition, transition and rear area. Each area has a different landscape setting and function. 
The landscape of the spa is focusing on aesthetical and follow-away function. Firstly, landscape setting at the front is mainly the important area and a main attraction of the place, purposely for welcoming the visitors and the landscape resembles the nature in the forest because the use of various types of plants and create robustness that will give an unpleasant view to the visitors. The composition of the plants are varied from shrubs to trees. Why? For the hardscape, it consists of pavement, signage, planter box. And secondly, the side landscape, it covers the right and left side of the area. Basically, both landscape setting is having the same setting and function. The landscape is functional as buffer to the spa area because the spa is located next to an active area and it is to give a privacy to the customer. It conceives of existing natural landscape from the forest species and some of the man-made landscape. This place also functioning as a viewing area. Next, moving on to the transition area that is located in between of the front and rear area. It is an elevated landscape and the selection of the plant is unsuitable as it blocks the view toward the forest. Lastly, rear landscape area. It is located behind the treatment area. Basically, the landscape setting for this area is a natural existing landscape which is the forest. It is functioning as a view area and purposely for the customer in a treatment process to get a natural view from the room. The plant species is the plant species used for the landscape is mostly are not from a common Malay plant species such as trees are Plumeria yucca alifolia and Heliconia behai, while for shrubs are Unionimus japonicus, Lyra pinguscari, and Zamia furfuraceae. The plants are being used for an aesthetical value rather than the function itself. Finally, from the finding, some issues have been identified, and there are three design recommendations. Firstly, to enhance the four existing landscape space by proposing new landscape settings which are Laman Harapan, Laman Sisi, Laman Belakang and additional space which is Laman Tengah. Laman Hadapan should be an open space and have the sense of welcoming and will functioning as a waiting area and recreation purpose. Why Laman Sisi should be long and narrow and will be with and will be a viewing and waiting area. And lastly, Laman Belakang and Tengah should be an edible garden that plants various types of herbs and medicinal plants for the visitors and as a sparse product supplies for the treatment process. Second recommendation is to increase the use of hardscape, which is the Malay landscape furniture such as wakaf, pumpkin and wayan. Lastly, to increase the use of Malay common plant species for the landscape that is suitable for each piece function such as Laman Hadapan should consist of vibrant and colorful, colorful plants to welcome the guests such as Michelle Champaka, Rosa SPP, Hibiscus rosaniensis and Cocos nucifera. While Laman CC should consist of higher tree or four boundary and shades and a fragrant plants for aromatherapy such as Jasmine Sambek, Bambusa SPP, Arika Katechu and Lastly, the Laman Belakang should have an edible tree such as Amaranthus, Piper Beta, Curcuma Longa, Citrus Microcapa, and lastly, Pandanus Amarifolius. Thus, transferring Malay landscape to the spa village is relevant and can promote the uniqueness of the culture as well. Thank you.